Hey, you say. Hi, um, hi everyone. This is Rizman. This is Vish, and now we're going to talk about how internet is changing uh, real estate. So that's perfect. So before that, sorry, Vidima has come after a while. So welcome to another episode of Okay Sean Okay TV. What's the subject today? Um, we are talking about how internet is changing real estate. So the topic is definitely how internet moved um, real estate yeah. in the in the recent times. Uh, big word internet, yeah. Uh, this is what we do every single day. Without internet, can you imagine your life? No, it's internet has different. changed everybody's life. But uh, in in terms of real estate, there have been like some major changes. For example, he uh, Vish was telling me about how he bought his first house. Yeah. Like, he went to the real real estate office and then uh, he met the agent and then he helped him uh, to buy a house. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I know the people used to buy houses by uh, seeing the ad the newspaper that they uh, new, that used to be updated like once a week or mm. even either once a day. Absolutely. But right now they can see the property instantly as soon mm. as property is uh, listed, it comes on the market and mm. they can have the information. That uh, with this is property is on the market and they can choose whatever they like. Absolutely, yep. it's it's very different, a very different era. How uh, fifteen years ago, as 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 we were talking, mm -hmm. that you know, I mean, I had to go to the real estate agent office. Mm -hmm. They got a printed uh, a list of properties for lease and for sale, yeah. and then you book an appointment with the agent. So there was a again, it was a human touch at the time. These days, everything everything is digital. Yep. So as we know. Uh, Property goes in the market uh, on many platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, a buyer sees the property, uh, yeah. book an appointment with the agent via internet. Uh, people these days also show the property via internet as well. Yeah. Uh, things of 360 yeah. degree uh, property view. Yeah. So especially yeah. last year when we were in the lockdown, mm -hmm. uh, people used to see the property online yeah. and bought the property online. Never seen in, in the past like that. Yeah, we can uh, earlier people could never imagine that they will buy the property without even seeing it. Yeah, technically but, buy the property yeah. online on internet. Yes, but That's COVID crazy. restricted them from going to uh, actually going to the property and uh, viewing the property. So this mm. internet helped them to like to see the actual videos and have like a digital walk through through the property Correct. so that they can make a decision. Absolutely. So it feels like yourself is walking in the house, yes. seeing the house and buying the house. So again, what that has changed, what that has done to the audience or to the buyer has given them a lot of options yeah. uh, to buy whatever they want to buy around the area without mm. physically inspecting the property. But saying that, that's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. And uh, apart from this, uh, real estate apps have Everyone can have them apps on their phone, and then it's, it may, it has been very convenient for them to search for the property as well. Right. So this process has like there's a streamlined process, so it's very easy and con convenient for them to look for properties, and you know if they can either filter the properties the kind of properties they want, so they can have a complete list. This is very easy for them now. Yeah, yeah, they can choose the low area as well. A lot of people are interested in a particular school zone. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the, the way it works that you choose only, you only uh, go into the map and you only uh, have the properties which is listed in that particular school yes. zone. And then yeah. you can, based on that, you can narrow down your search mm -hmm. and you can only buy the properties falls into that zone. To me, it's a great feature to have. Rather yeah. than going around and seeing 15, 20 different properties, mm -hmm. but not looking for the one you want to buy. Yes. So that makes it easy as it well. It saves time for them Absolutely as well. Does. And uh, another thing, the internet has helped uh, making the process faster as well. Mm. It's the, the longest pro uh, thing that uh, happens when you are buying a buying a property is that mm. getting your mortgage sorted. Absolutely. And internet has made it so easy for them to actually go there. Mm. Like they can just uh, get their queries sorted on internet. They Absolutely. Just, uh, digital platforms that they can uh, ask questions mm -hmm. and they will get the answers instantly and uh, the bank has streamlined their process as well so it's, it's, they can get the finance sorted in like within a week uh, yeah. so, so that that's exactly the thing is any before if you want to make a rental application mm -hmm. 
you need to go to the office, provide them all the paperwork. Yeah. These days, within 24 hours, you apply online, and you yeah. submit your documents online, you get a reply online. That's a good thing. But to me, uh, being from old age, as you can, um, as you can see, sorry. Continue. It just stopped for a while. Ah, uh, it stopped. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry for the interruption. Mm -hmm. Um, so before that, I was going to say you can still go and talk to one on one person, mm -hmm. but now you don't even know who the property manager is, who the yeah. rental person is. You're signing mm -hmm. everything online. So that part to me is definitely a little bit of worrisome uh, in your kind of generation. It's okay. <laughs> but for a person like me who always uh, like meeting people, mm -hmm. I, I kind of miss that part a mm -hmm. lot when I'm doing those transactions. Uh, but saying that, uh, we need to keep up with the generation. Yes, right? I know. I understand that everything has a pros and cons, mm -hmm. like, like a side of the coin, right? So. Uh, there is a lot of information available, but sometimes buyers can feel that in, there could be information overloaded, right? Absolutely. So they might get confused and what is good for them, what, what is not. And they are getting information from a lot of sources. It could be like valid sources or somebody's just mm. posting, you know, fake information. So Absolutely. they don't know what exactly so is. So making a decision on. based yeah. on a certain reviews as well. Like mm -hmm. for example, that we know that when a, a, a vendor who wants to sell their property, what they do these days is that they mm -hmm. go internet search and they put top three agents or top five agents in my area, for mm -hmm. example, and based on this, um, some statistics and mm -hmm. the numbers, they give you those agents details. Yes. It's easy for them to make a decision mm. based on the reviews, mm. but who knows those reviews are legit. Right. right, that's, that's right. the thing. And so that, that's why they need a uh, professional help. I believe they should go and meet people before making a decision on who to go with. Yeah, not yeah. simply based only yes. on the reviews or stats, stats, because whatever has done in the past, you only. Uh, basically, what you are seeing, what they want to show, mm. that's what they are seeing. Yes. They don't know anything beyond that, mm. and that's why it's very important to have that one-on-one -on -one kind of a meeting mm. before you choose your agent. You mm. highly recommend you have to build that trust. How can you build the trust on the mm. internet? It's right. very difficult. Very right. difficult. That's, that's totally right. Yeah, uh, like a lot of people post a lot of different things, uh, and some might be true, some might not be true. So that could be a problem from, for them so in order to get make a right decision. So I would suggest all the vendors that if you want to sell their house, mm. just don't make decisions based on the reviews and uh, how many properties that they have sold because uh, the agent should be one who is actually taking care of you mm. and who will do whatever uh, they can for your property. Spot on. Yeah. Yep. So you have to see, meet the agent and see that if he will do what you need. He or she. Yeah, he or she will do what he, <laughs> what he needs, yeah. Uh, yeah, so again, at the, at these days you got a plenty of apps to do uh, the real estate business online. Uh, that Just to name few, we got a realestate.com.au, mm -hmm. they got mm -hmm. an app domain. Uh, we got a lot of apps to provide you with the property reports as well. Yes. Uh, for especially for the buyer, if mm -hmm. they want to find out about the property, mm -hmm. their um, their structure plans, uh, the due diligence of the property, yeah. everything is available on the internet, right. which makes the decision making process so easy. Yes. Uh, everything is black and white. You can mm -hmm. see them. So right. I'm I'm not talking about the documents prepared by individual company. I'm mm -hmm. talking about the documents prepared by the land Victoria. I'm talking about the council documents such mm -hmm. as the rates notice. Yeah. Now these days rates notice used to come in the post. Now everything comes via email. So I think again those things that you can see everything online, mm -hmm. which which means that when you're buying something, mm -hmm. you're buying with a lot more confidence. Yeah. Right, sense. Right, right. So those things have changed uh, as well. Again, mm -hmm. uh, many, many apps as we're talking about the 360 degree views of the properties, mm -hmm. um, photos and all these things can be viewed online. Before, you need to go and visit the property. Yes. You can't see the photos online. Right. right so know. you need to go and see. see. And uh, there is another uh, thing that when, you, when you're buying your own house, mm -hmm. you need to feel uh, the way you feel when you enter that property. Right, you need to connect you know? with the house. Yeah, you need to connect with the house. And that's not possible on internet. 
but that's the only thing i uh, think that that is missing if you can't actually like sense the vibe of the of the house that you want to live in because without that you won't be able to make a decision mm. you have to live there for a long period of time if you're buying a house it's a commitment that you're going to live there absolutely so you need to feel homely there in yeah. order to make that decision so everything can't be done on internet but yeah it has helped a lot so it is helping people in making a lot of decision and they are getting a lot more a lot more information they can check every fact online as well so it has made them very easy and it has gain, uh, helped them gain confidence Absolutely. as well Absolutely. whatever decision they are making yeah what about facebook yeah facebook is very very Jeez. good but <laughs> so, i would love to see i would love to see everyone's phone time for example right now we are talking yeah, yeah. uh our agent is taking a photo but she's on facebook Posting yeah. something or doing right. something, say. Yeah. What Everybody you doing? Doing business. On Facebook all the time. Social media is, you know, we have uh, like completely changed how we operate uh, in real estate. Actually. Yeah. Property actually sells and buys by the property via Facebook. Facebook has now also come up with the Facebook business as well, such as yeah. Instagram as well. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah. Insta is yeah. also popular, mm. but in a Facebook, I have been amazed with this called something called marketplace. Yeah. Marketplace are places people, people buy and sell yeah. products, they, not just products, but no, houses. They are selling houses on there, yeah. Okay. And it's a free tool. Yep. You don't have to pay anything to right. list a person. I have seen, I have seen a trend a um, couple of years ago that everyone, um, you know, putting their land for sale on Facebook. And you know what? Buyers are buying them on Facebook as well. And because they, they can reach like thousands of people Absolutely. on a free platform, so why don't take advantage Absolutely. of that? You know. Facebook has created uh, a big difference in everyone's life yep. in a good way and in a um, bad way too. Yeah, in a bad way, I think that uh, this has uh, given the vendors the confidence that yeah, they can do it everything by themselves. 100%. You know, they think that yeah, it's just they in the in the like mind of buyer, it is just sell buying and selling process, just finding a buyer and selling a property. The whole process is not that simple. You know, they get to know when they actually do it. Mm -hmm. They are not professionals. They can't negotiate the way a professional can. Absolutely. So, yeah, it just gives them a fake sense of um, like a comfort that they yeah they yeah. can they can do it everything by themselves. But it's not always it's cost effective. It's a cost effective for a vendor before they go there and go to the agent. They yeah. try their luck. Mm -hmm. But hey, professionals are professionals, yes. right? Yes. And yes. What we can do, of course, you can't do, and that's why. Everyone can be real estate agents, just like everyone can be doctors. Yes. Imagine if I want to be a doctor. Yeah. Can I? No, yeah. Can't. You can't be. Uh, you can't treat yourself just by seeing, uh, like, searching your symptoms on internet, right? Yeah. You have to go to a doctor in order to get a professional Spot advice. Spot on. Very well pointed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just like exactly. Mm. You can't just take a medicine yourself. You yeah. have to prescribe the medicine. Right. Uh, but again, not just real estate. We are talking about each and everything mm. in in the internet era has changed everything. Yeah. Um, However, again, the more I like to talk about the internet, I, I also think that that also uh, created a lot more distance mm. between the uh, humans as well. Yes. Sitting at home, husband, wife, <laughs> they kids, everyone was busy, on, their phone busy on the phone. Yeah. Uh, thanks to the internet, it has it has it has created a, a huge distance between the families. A virtual world that they're living in. Virtual home. world and yeah. not in the real world. Yes. Um, and it needs to be stopped somewhere. It needs to be stopped somewhere. Yeah. Uh, things has to go in the way, traditional way. Uh, I would love to have people coming inside the house, greet them, yes. talk to them, give them some property lease, mm -hmm. speak to them with their basic requirements, help them getting a right property, um, uh, be it buying, selling, or even renting as well. Okay. But I honestly, Ridima, I do miss that part a, 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 a lot more. Actually meeting them. Yeah. Actually meeting Going them and having and that face to face conversation. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. Rather than everything is done by text messages mm -hmm. or, or emails uh, or video calls. Uh, it's just me, though. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I think they should be used as a tool, not the only medium to interact. Spot on. You know, they, it can obviously be if people uh, can't meet. Uh, like physically, so it it can help them to con uh, connect with their loved ones. But uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, absolutely. But so it should not be the only reason. Yeah. Like the only medium of talking. And, and that affects every single business, yeah. guys. Everything, if you, if you start doing everything virtually on the internet, uh, economy is going to hit big time. Uh, there will be a lack of employment, there will be a lack yeah. of uh, properties, commercial properties as mm, well. Like yeah. we, everything, imagine every, everything is doing everything from home, sitting on the internet. Why do you need an office? If you don't need an office, what's going to happen to the infrastructure of the, uh, the overall economy as well? Right, right. So it doesn't only lead to a smaller problems. If you think in the long run, it leads to the bigger problems as well. Yes. So as I said, as Nidima said, use that as a tool, not as a, not that as a decision maker. Mm. All right? Yeah. Still, go to the office, talk to the people. Mm. That's the best way to do the business. All right. Well, I'm sure your uh, your um, world has must have changed with the internet as well. But just treat yourself. Uh, don't uh, you have those uh, you know have those healthy conversations face to face rather than on the internet. Talk to your friends. Call your friends more than text messages. This is what the internet does in overall life. Uh, so that was our of course today's topic, uh, which was how internet moved to real estate. Yeah. It has moved a big time, a lot, yeah. but I wish I can take it back to the olden era as well. Just like sometimes you love to listen to the old music, retro music, than the new right. tick chick tick chick music. Yeah? <laughs> uh, similar to that, uh, we also would love to go back to the how, in, how the real estate market was working. I hope you can help us to uh, regain that same kind of um, feelings and vibe. Uh, so it's not matter. exactly the same, you know. Mm. At least some point of some, we some can, yeah, we can bring some some things back, the Absolutely. positive thing, the human connection, and everything back. Absolutely. Anything yeah. else? No, yeah. that's it. I guess we've given them a lot of information to think about. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, here is a wrap up. We'll see you again next Thursday with the different faces. I'm sure. <laughs> different faces with some different topics. Different topics. Yeah. Different topics. Until then, have a great day. See you guys. Yeah.